Good morning, Stewart's Chapel. This is Brother Don Pearson, and this is Wednesday's devotion, and we're continuing our look at finishers. There's a lot of scripture on this man, and I'm only going to read one. And the only reason I'm going to read one is because I just want to get you started. Uh, you really need to read the scriptures with this man. This man's name is Elijah. He's very much like Enoch. Enoch and Elijah, the two E's as I try to remember them, are the two that come and take their place in Revelations again. But Elijah is nothing like Enoch. It doesn't seem that Enoch was a preacher or a teacher of any type. Elijah was very different. There's a lot of scripture. But let's just look at 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 1. And Elijah the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel lives, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years except at my word. You know what's interesting about Elijah? There are other prophets in his time. We know that because of chapter 18 tells us that Obadiah, one of the servants of Ahab, the king, has hidden a hundred prophets of the Lord. And I'm assuming that they are godly, very faithful prophets. But it wasn't their time. They didn't have a task. They weren't, though they were prophets, they didn't have a prophecy to bring. For whatever reason, God singled out Elijah. Elijah lives a lonely life. His service as a prophet is one of constantly being alone until the very end. At the end, God will tell him to take on a disciple named Elisha. But it's a very short period of time in Elijah's life, and then Elijah is gone. Elijah did well working alone. His faithfulness was not dependent upon an audience. He is extremely faithful with an audience or without. His assignment was during a time of great, great hardship when the king of the land is not only hunting other godly men, this king is specifically hunting Elijah. And God is constantly protecting him, constantly moving him. Elijah is very bold. At times he is hiding because God tells him to hide. And other times he's right in front of everyone. But one thing about Elijah, though he was always alone, wasn't always happy and content. His commitment level to the task that he was assigned was unquestionable. He never com compromised his message regardless of what it would bring. He never compromised the work that he was given. Elijah is an example of a finisher. Well, hopefully is not a description or a picture of you and I. But I wonder. Are you able to finish well or even to do the work well? 
when you're alone? What about when you have an audience? What about when the job is very, very hard? What about when it brings threat of physical harm to you? What kind of finisher are you? A good day finisher? Can you finish even on a bad day well? I wish I could share a few stories with you, and I don't have time. You see, most of the time when we think about finishing, we're thinking of some big holy God task. Uh, sometimes it's about how I respond to my wife. Sometimes it's about how I respond to my children. And sometimes it's about how I respond to you. You finish well, my brother, my sister. Whether somebody's watching or not, finish well. Love you, Stuart's Chapel.